Okay, it's only five people, but I think we'll start anyways. I'm recording the session, so I'll post it later on if anyone is interested. Yeah. Hi, Vilka. You're here and you are muted. <laughs> um, we'll talk in English today because we have a lot of different people here. And I'll start off with the first info session. So it is a first meeting for GDSC. It is called a Google Developer Student Club. Okay, we have two new people. Okay, great. Um, it is for TeoGrad specifically, and Google organizes it for different universities. So all over the world, you have different clubs, and each has its own lead or community leader. For this one, I was chosen by Google, and I am asked to form a core team at first. So this is the purpose of this meeting today that I show you what we are going to do and that we want to find some core team members. So let's get on with what do we do here. So for Google Developer Student Clubs, it is a community of students organized to help each other, to create some workshops, to create speaking events. And by that, we want to learn from each other and uh, try to find interests in the same technologies. So by combining our knowledge, we can uh, teach other in peer or smaller groups some topics that we're interested in. So what we want to achieve later on, and you will see that we have also a competition organized by Google, and that we want to organize smaller teams that will compete against other teams from other universities. So anyone is welcome to join. You, you don't have to be specifically computer science or software engineering. From uh, economics or architecture, we welcome anyone who is interested in technology. So I'll leave this. You can see the link on the right side, but I'll leave also uh, the slides later on from the event description and you will receive another email, I believe. So what we want to achieve here as the core team and anyone who is interested to apply, we have uh, a couple of different roles. So yeah, let's, let's go over first the roles of the, uh, of the teams. So for the core team, we have a lead technical uh, position, which is going to be uh, creating workshops and different projects using Google technologies or anything they are interested in. So technologies don't have to be really about the Google technologies. Anything that you're passionate about, you can create a presentation and speak about it whenever you feel like it. So we also have a marketing uh, section. So someone who is going to manage social media and also that is tightly um, correlated with the uh, managing of finances and administration. So what you would do is try to contact companies on our behalf. Uh, there are already materials prepared and you don't have to worry about that, but you will still have to engage in communication and uh, try to find sponsorships for events. For example, also uh, a speaking type events, you will have to get someone from a company uh, to speak, whether it's virtual or local. Then we also have a lead design. So you see these beautiful designs over here from the presentation. You can use uh, those to create um, like posters or even maybe video editing if we have uh, some uh, event that needs to be posted on social media. And then we also have a um, host event with, which are also going to be correlated with uh, projects. So anything that you want to talk about or that you want to see someone talk about, it's also possible. And at the end, and what we are going to strive for 
is the solution challenge. So the solution challenge is Google's annual competition. Uh, these are the, the details on every position, which I'm going to talk about a bit more later on. But let's talk about the, the solution challenge. The solution challenge is actually the Google's annual competition. This year, there were uh, three winners. And every, for example, this time they were um, doing the United Nations 17 sustainable developer goals. And they, they had to use one Google technology. So that was the requirement to enter the competition. For example, you could use Firebase to create an application or a machine learning kit. So what they would do is they could create a team, especially for a solution challenge, and then they would compete against other universities. Uh, I think the prizes at the end were everybody got a laptop and some swag from Google. And I think even better was a talk with a Google, like a really high executive at the company. So I think overall the solution challenge could be really fun because you can uh, develop a project that can be not just temporary, but you can even create a company from it. So someone created um, this year, someone created I have got. It's called, uh, their team was Team Hack uh, Inversion. So they created some uh, product which could uh, help those uh, who are blind by having those VR goggles and uh, vibrating belts. So they would help them to uh, avoid objects on street, see the light on street, and so on. So for example, those are the kind of projects that are developed there. Now, the topic of the, for example, next year's doesn't have to be a UN related, but I guess we'll see. They didn't announce anything yet. So let's go again through the uh, positions more specifically for those interested to apply. I really encourage you to uh, apply for any of those, even if you have just a bit of interest. We're going to go through those anyways, and we'll see if you're a great fit for it. So a tech lead uh, will, as I said, lead technical projects uh, and also correlated to speaking events. We will propose technical approaches, provide technical feed, uh, feedback to GitHub guiding. Eventually, of course, uh, any language specific type uh, Speaking events or techno technology from Google is also fine. Uh, as I said, yeah, technical speakers and communicate, organize, and speak. And of course, you will all uh, all these positions have to be in collaboration with other core team members. Then we have a social media manager, as I said, uh, correlated to later on the financial part, but. Um, of course, have to post on social media regularly, uh, create some some sort of post about the past events, uh, future events, share memes if you want, uh, and of course, work with other core team members. Uh, design lead has to work with social media managers to create um, some sort of uh, beautiful designs like this, uh, also video editing, as I mentioned, and I guess those are the main points for now, but we'll see as we go. Financial manager contact companies uh, and acquire sponsorships. So we will have, uh, there's also a, a deal going on with our university to become a official club. So there are already, already 16 clubs uh, at TGRATS and we'll try to become an official club. And once we do, there, there will be some sort of financial support, which we will get from TGRATS in some, some way, because if we, if we have a solution challenge team, we can get some uh, financing for the staff and competition and so on. 
Okay, solution challenge, as I already told you. And of course, uh, we will form a special team from, from the core team. We will form a special team for the solution challenge team that will only work on the project for the solution challenge. So the solution challenge doesn't begin before uh, February, I believe. So we will have enough time to work on workshops, uh, speaking events before we form a solution challenge team. But later on, we'll talk about it more. So what are the benefits of everybody who wants to join for a core team is that we will try to give you a better understanding of the tech industry, not, uh, mostly for those who are starting in early semesters. And then we will have a positive change on the tier grads. So we will try to engage as many people as possible for them to work on different projects and expand their network. So you will meet a lot of different people and I hope you will learn something as well. So um, not just technologies, but I guess soft skills about com communication and speaking and so on. Also at the end, you will uh, get the official certificate, certificate for the Google Developer Club. So I think that's also cool for your CV if you decide to join. Now, I would also like to mention uh, a couple of things before we move on. I think I missed here um, the technologies, maybe something and about the events. So the technologies that we are going to be working on are mostly Google related. I because we have to prepare for the solution challenge and to to have that requirement of one technology used for our team. But the speaking events and workshops and coding dojos, hackathons don't have to be correlated. We can speak about uh, languages, about technologies that you're passionate about, that anyone else in the group is passionate about. You can just go up to me and say, I want to talk about uh, JavaScript or something like that. And then we'll organize an event where you give a presentation about it. It doesn't really matter. You can talk about anything as long as it's technology related. Also about the types of events that we are going, we're going to organize is something related to um, mostly related to hands-on workshops. So for example, we have, we organize a group meeting, whether it's virtually or uh, at uni, we can have, we can talk about technology. We can create some sort of a challenge or a game. we work on some problems and we try to solve them together. Uh, we also have uh, speaker sessions, which are going to be from some companies or by us, uh, at the core team, I think we'll have, uh, much more influential status if we become the official team, because then other other people from uni can join, not just as core members, but as a general member, and then view the events. Also study jams, if we choose a topic that we want to work on together, hackathons later on, something like a smaller uh, competition where we try to tackle a problem. For example, if we try to decide on, um, if we decide on a uh, data science project and we try to uh, solve a Kaggle problem or a some sort of um, technology-based problem, I don't know right now. And then we also have a solution challenge event, which will start, for example, in January, February, where we form ideas and the team for the competition. Also, a demo day is related to the speaker session where you show anything that you worked on, a project of yours or a thesis, maybe. So I think that's mostly from my side. If you guys have any questions, 
please feel free to post them in the chat. You can also post it in German. Um, this first event, I thought it would be better to be in English because we have different people here, as I said, but feel free to ask anything. Also, the slides and the link to everything you can apply for is going to be at the event post uh, post event. And you'll also get, I think, a survey to fill out. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't think we have any questions. I hope everything's clear for everyone. Okay, we have some claps. Um, is the core team member from... Uh, for now, that's a good question, actually. Thank you, Anna. Uh, it is a one-year contract that I signed with Google. You guys, as core team members, if you decide to join, you're going to get a certificate for this year. And then the next year, uh, anyone from the core team can join uh, a mentorship program by Google. And also, if you want, you can apply for a lead uh, at the university. But for for my contract, it is a one year. But I think depending on how we organize events and how everything goes with the university, if we become an official club, I think that will extend the possibility to get more years and work longer. Because the exposure right now, it's it's a bit difficult to get people as as you can see there are nine people in the in the in the meeting so and i reached out to every possible uh university like contact service or like studienvertretung and not a lot of exposure by them so i think as I said, if we become the official club, I think it will be much better. So you guys are the first one to come and thank you for that. <laughs> are there any other questions? Maybe. I, I wrote to them and they, they just posted this on Twitter and it, there's like three likes on the post. So I don't think that that did the trick really. <laughs> I don't know. Nobody wanted to send out emails directly to students, I guess, because it isn't the official club. So we will see later on if we can get a positive answer for that. Okay. Then I hope that is it from, from the questions. I don't have anything else prepared. Um, that's basically it. It's just a uh, starting event. I'll post this on YouTube as well so that anyone who comes later on, I can show them the same, the same presentation I gave you guys and that we can maybe get even more people to join. So I think, how much time do you think a core team member needs to invest per month? Um, that is not defined by Google or by me. I guess we'll see as we uh, go along the way, but I don't plan like really anything <laughs> uh, time needy because I know a lot of people have their uh, things to do at the uni. I think it's going to be like, pretty casual and we'll, for example, meet once per week to chat and to discuss ideas, what we could do. And then maybe events from like workshops and coding dojos from two to four weeks. Um, 
something like that. So yeah, as I don't think you have to like invest like a requirement amount of time. Sure. I think that's all then for today. I, yeah, as I said, I don't have anything else. It was just a introductory meeting so that you can see what is going to be done and who can join and where you can join. It is a form um, on here. I'm going to show you right now. Mm. Some of you already filled it out, but um, I left the link at the slides. It is a simple, really, um, application process. I'll then go over it later on and check every application. So if there are no more, okay. Then how polished does the solution challenge process have to be? Actually, not at all, because you don't have a lot of time. The timeline was I think in the span of four months. So they began February and then at the end of it, uh, I think mid July. So you don't have a lot of time really. That's not enough time to work on a large project. And it's only uh, three to four people mainly. And then um, I don't think you can polish it as really good as everyone would love to. But I think the main point is to get a really good idea. So it is called solution challenge. And what they want to see is the idea mostly. And I think that's why, for example, those winning teams uh, won is because they had something innovative and really great of use to those people who need it. And that's why they mostly tackle those UN uh, problems. So I, I think that's it. I hope that answers your question. And yeah, so maybe just a few words on the application. Uh, you guys just fill it out and I will reach out, I think, this week already. And who, for anyone who is selected, I will also uh, send a following email. And then we can begin at, in the, I think, mid-October already. So I'll post this on YouTube and also send to people from the... Uh, for deciding it, we are become we are becoming the official club to review this and also some there are some points that I have to fill out. But as long as that's done, I hope we can start mid October. Okay, anyone maybe other questions? Okay, I don't think we have any more questions. Uh, you guys can always reach me on social media and there's my profile link on the official page from GDSC Grads. Um, send me an email, contact me on social media, it doesn't matter. And that's it for now. Um, thanks for listening and thanks for being here. Uh, follow us on social media and I'll reach out as soon as I have all the applications in. So thank you and bye. <laughs>